Hospitals generate a lot of dirty laundry, from patient gowns and sheets to cleaning rags. Some facilities do the washing in-house, but to free up hospital space, some send theirs out to industrial-sized laundry operations that deal in high volume with bigger and better equipment. The hospital sends all fabric items to the laundry, including bed linens, towels, patient gowns, bibs, and cleaning rags. The only exception is surgical linens, which are usually disposable. The laundry company picks up the order and delivers it to the plant. Next, workers unload the bags of soiled laundry on large rolling carts. They weigh each one for internal statistical purposes and scan its barcode to track the laundry for each hospital. Workers handling the bags wear gloves at all times. The bags are plastic, which is more suitable than cloth for containing liquid, odor, and bacteria. Workers rip each one open and without touching the contents, dump them on the conveyor. They discard the bag in a suction device that sends it to a baling system. The bales of bags go to a recycling facility that turns them into garbage bags and other polyethylene products. From this point on, everything is automated. The conveyor drops the soiled laundry into a sturdy cloth bag. Once the bag reaches 120 pounds, the conveyor automatically stops loading. The filled bag travels to an overhead conveyor system, which leads to one of several stainless steel tunnel-shaped washing machines. Inside, a large rotating screw pushes the load through two pre-soaks, then moves on to six chemical wash cycles designed to remove tough stains such as blood and iodine. Next are five treatment cycles to soften the fabric and normalize the pH level. Then three rinses. The load of now clean laundry exits the tunnel washer and enters a hydraulic press. The press applies around 12 tons of weight to squeeze out the residual water. The load comes out compressed into what they call a cake. A conveyor transfers it to an elevator, which transports it to the drying area. The conveyor puts two cakes at a time into the dryer. An infrared sensor inside signals the dryer to stop when the load is dry, about 22 minutes later. A revolving paddle called a cake breaker separates the stuck together items to prepare them for sorting. From this point on, automation ends and manual sorting begins. Workers pull different categories of items and toss them into designated linen hoppers that are hooked up to scales. When a bag hits the target weight, it automatically drops down onto a conveyor, which leads to the final processing area. Here, items are either folded or bulk packaged in plastic bags. Workers load the bulk items into a vacuum system, which feeds into automated bagging machines. The machines have either a built-in scale which weighs the bag as it fills, or a photo cell which counts the items dropping into the bag. Once the bag reaches the target weight or count, the machine heat seals and releases it. Certain items have to be folded. Luckily, a machine automatically folds bed pads, bath towels, and patient gowns by flipping over the ends with short blasts of air. The neatly folded items collect underneath the machine, then travel by conveyor to the shipping preparation area. Here, workers stack them onto rolling carts. A different folding machine handles the larger items such as bed sheets and flannel blankets. A worker clamps an item to the feeder. Then the machine, using rollers and straps, processes the item until it's neatly folded. The clean laundry goes back onto carts, into the truck, and back to the hospital.